Hi there, everyone. It's Vicki, Stamp with Vicki. Thanks for joining me tonight. Um, how's your summer going? Mine is hot, so I'm staying inside a lot, <laughs> which is good. It's good for stamping. <laughs> Bad for my tan, but you know, that's okay. All right, I've got myself plugged in here. So I want to give it a couple of minutes um, to let people hop on. If you get to hop on, let me know. Say hi if you can. Um, I think we're all pretty straight. Tonight is going to probably be a quick one. We are going to do some, well, I said simple stamping. It, it is simple stamping. The stamping part is simple. Um, I guess for one thing, you need a big shot. The simple stamping movement is more like, uh, Stamps, ink, paper, and that's it. This has a couple of big shotted pieces in it, but other than that, stamps, ink, paper, scissors, and I guess ribbon. But for me, if you know me, they're simple. So just want to give it one more second or two. We, um, I can tell you what we're going to be doing, using, is the Garden Goodness stamp set. Make sure you can see that. Um... It's adorable. I would, you know, I was thinking, what am I gonna do with vegetables? This is a really fun set. So you can see, make sure you can see all that. So there's an avocado, which avocados are of course hot right now. Peas, peppers, and again, little tomatoes. I of course thought they were grapes, which I suppose I could make them into grapes. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, so we have that going on. I think I will go ahead and get started. If you are late to the show or or just happen to be busy, I know I didn't really give any kind of a notice for this. Um, yeah, I it's summer. <laughs> it's just summer. So I do apologize for that, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. And uh, I guess I, I was about to say, if you, uh, are missing it or missing the first part of it, you can definitely watch it on a replay um, and just say hi at that point. So the two cards that we're going to do tonight, I have this one here. It's called uh, Good Luck, Good Health, and Happiness. It's made with some peas and what I... Oh, well, I think those are the tomatoes, but I made them into peas. So <laughs> they're versatile tomatoes, that's for sure. Um, that, that's kind of funny. So super simple stamping, as you can see, there's not even Wink of Stella, people. Super simple. Um, and this one. So this, avocados, again, are so hot right now. Gosh, you can find them on pajamas. You can find them on notebooks. You can find them in your grocery store. You can find them in my belly. I had some guacamole for dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you can find them everywhere. Uh, so I had to laugh. I was singing the avocados from Mexico song in my head the whole time I was working on this card. And I'm pretty sure I am going to be singing that in my sleep tonight. Hey, Kristen, I am here. I am loyal, but my eyes are heavy. Girl, I hear you. If that's okay. Um, I think my mother's watching. She sometimes watches from afar. <laughs> um, it should be a quick one, but watch what you can. They're gonna be super simple, and you know, if you need any more instructions or you know, have any questions, just let me know. How's Hudsy doing, Kristen? Hudson is her puppy. He's a new golden doodle. He's adorable. All right, we're gonna just hop right in and get started. So we're gonna go ahead and do the P card first, and he is so good. Oh, I bet. I miss his cuddles. Um, anyway, so we'll go ahead and get this started with peas. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. I <laughs> I was looking through my things thinking I really wanted to write sweet pea on it. And for those of you who aren't demonstrators and showing these things, you can ab absolutely do that. And I thought it would be such a cute um, way to present the card, maybe for a little baby or something. But I totally had to change my plans when I realized that the alphabet that I had is retired. <laughs> so, <laughs> but this is a cute card. 15 weeks today, he's getting so big. 
I uh, finally ordered a um, water fountain for my cat. And Winston apparently needs one as well. So the two of them, I taught them to drink out of that today. Well, not taught them, but showed them. That was really pretty funny. I should put that, I'll put that on my regular Facebook page. So hopefully I don't have to turn on the faucets as much anymore because a couple of times I've forgotten them and I'm not sure how long the water was running. But uh, yeah, anyway. Um, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, obviously, as you can see, I have, have it folded a little different this time. And we're using Mellow Moss, and how I did it is I just took a piece of cardstock and cut it in half the long way. Um, so it is 11, excuse me, by four and a half, scored at five and a half. Excuse me, by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. So essentially it's, it's our same standard card size, it's just flipped. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that to the side. Um, the peas. I think we're just gonna get to stamping. Um, okay. Peas are super cute. I I like peas, and I had started eating them again recently. For the longest time, I'd stopped eating them because they're a starchy vegetable. But then I realized at least they're a vegetable. So here, you know, I started eating them again. All right. So let's see what I did. Um. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I think. I, uh, there we go. I did them randomly, sort of. You know how that goes, especially with me, my random, not so random, fun stuff. Hmm way different okay uh, that, what's the color again oh <laughs> so this card oh so the card base is mellow moss the actual stamping that I'm doing is in um, pear pizzazz for this card it's a nice sort of subdued medium green very pretty I like that color I use it quite a bit actually on flowers and stems. So as you can see, I'm also sort of, I don't need to do that. Finish that, because I'm gonna cover that. Okay, we'll set that aside and we're gonna go ahead and take this piece of pear pizzazz and I it is four inches across, uh, oh, this is four inches by five and a quarter. So this is gonna fit right here. Um, and I feel like it's two and three eighths inches deep. Um, I use the same color, so I'm gonna take my tomatoes, peas, grapes, and just, it really actually makes a wonderful background. This is a great stamp. Um, I try and space it just so it just looks pretty much like it was always supposed to be there. There. That's a bit wet, so I'm gonna give that just a second to dry. What did I call it, Kristen? It is mossy meadow. Did I call it an old, old color? I wasn't paying any attention. You can see I'm tired too. Um, it is moss. What is it? It is mossy meadow. I don't know. I said, yeah. So mellow moss, literally, Kristen, 10 years ago, that was a color. That's funny. I mean, I still recall those. <laughs> That's so funny. That was back when it was brilliant blue and, oh my gosh, um, pretty in pink. There were tons of colors back there or back then, so that's that's where I got it. I'm not crazy and, and didn't completely make it up. <laughs> that's hysterical. Uh, Colleen would laugh about that, because she'll remember that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp good luck, good health, and happiness. 
because that's what vegetables should bring you. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pull this down. Um, so like I said, we are gonna do a little bit with the Big Shaw, just a cup, couple, <laughs> that's so funny, cut a couple of squares. I use the stitch shape square. You know what? I don't think that's gonna fit. Look what I did. Um, but I can stamp it on a bigger piece. That's cool. All right, good. So we're just gonna go ahead and stamp that again. Good luck, good health, and good happiness. I do wish peas tasted like pizza. I wish everything tasted like pizza. Oh, I love pizza. Pizza does, oops, not love me though. I pay for it every single time. Okay. So I'll go ahead and run that through the big shot. Um, it would help if I took the top plate off. Much better. So is everyone getting ready for back to school? Hi, Vanita. How are you? Thanks for joining. Um, well, I mean, Kristen, I know you and I are getting our babies. Don't really need to go to school. Well, actually, how is puppy school going for Hudson? I'm sure he's a star pupil. Okay. So, I feel like that's big, guys. Uh, where's my card? Oh. It sure is. Hold on. We have to get a smaller one. The stamp ladies will be cutting a lot of squares this weekend. <laughs> that's funny. What are you guys making, Kristen? Um, hold on, guys. I took out the bigger square. Um... Oh no, I lost my other square. Well, we're gonna go with that. Um, ah, school shopping with Addie. Well, that hopefully will be fun. That could go either way. I went into Staples last week, you know, for my, um, work for work and I just got so excited by all the school supplies every year I still get so excited about them okay I fixed that and I am going to cut a square out of the mossy meadow I have to practice that I think because I think I call it mellow moss every single time could be a true simple stamping card in that you wouldn't need to use the big shot to cut out the squares you could easily do that with scissors or just a paper cutter paper cutter you'd probably be straighter but you could do it with a pair of scissors and that would be fine I'm trying to think I did you send them to me now or do I have to look back because I can't remember anything which is probably the case I remember the stuff I won't say what I saw. <laughs> I remember this stuff. Okay, there we go. Um, no, 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 Tucker, 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 Tucker. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So the worst thing about the new kitty is he claws the floors, the the rugs, and it's scary. Um, I don't think I've seen anything really, oops, pulled up yet. So we can actually go ahead and put this bad boy together. So I just left this one, the four and a quarter by, or four by five and a quarter size and laid the um, piece with the dots on it, on top of it. You could cut this one shorter if you'd like. It, I just did it for whatever. Um, but you know, if you want to save some cardstock, which is always a great idea. You can do that and nobody would be the wiser. Um, line that up, nice and straight. 
And I am gonna take some of the, this is the, um, I do have to look back, oh, see, <laughs> sorry. Um, Magnolia Lane ribbon. Uh, I'm just gonna actually, oops. I'm gonna go ahead and put some adhesive on this ribbon. Sometimes, depending on the ribbon, you can do that. And it works just fine. Um, I'm gonna cover that seam. But I am careful, because I'm gonna show you a little trick, sort of a trick. So I want to leave this part of it un, unglued. Um, so I'm gonna take this, so rather than making a bow or trying to do everything all at once, this is just easier. And then you can tie a little knot, and it's super cute. Okay. There we go. And I feel like this is a little bit long. And there we go. Okay. So what I did to just give it a little bit of something is I did take a piece of the linen thread and just kind of tied it in the center of that knot. I just made another knot. Although I think it's gonna look different on this card than it did on my last card. Just a knot. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna trim it down just a little something. And I bet you the other ribbon, the other linen thread, the green one, which is sitting right in front of me, would probably look really cute on that. Hmm. Maybe we should try it, I don't know. Um, okay, so that's all stamped, and again, we're really trying to stick with as simple as can be, so one thing I am going to add to this is a dimensional, but I did not on my other card, just I like to change it up a little bit. Okay. It's still simple. And we're gonna add it to the card base. And that's that for that. Well, we're gonna do the inside. This one, however, I left pretty blank on the inside. I stamped some peas because I feel it could be used, this card could be used for so many purposes that you could just write a note in there. You could add a stamp if you wanted. Um, yeah, it could be used for lots of different things. So. You know, good luck, good health, and happiness. You know, what do you what do you do with that? Happy birthday? I'm not sure about that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a piece of my white. I so I have pre-cut cardstock. I think I talked about that a while ago, but I also pre-cut a whole bunch of white in a couple of different sizes. And let me tell you, it's fantastic because I just reach up and one size is the size of that, that first piece. It's four inches by five and a quarter, so it's just like a layer on a card, and the next one is three and three quarters by um, five inches, so it's another quarter inch down. And I, some, I use that size quite a bit. So I have a good handful, well more than that, of these two sizes right here in front of my face in this little storage container I got at Michael's or Home Goods or something like that. Um, I can show you in a minute. And I, it saves so much time. It seems like such a simple thing that why would you think it saves time? But it does. So, you know, I'm not cutting and looking for my white cards, the Whisper White cardstock all the time. It's right there, it's pre cut. And then I have a couple of places for. Um, my other leftover Whisper White. So I have I have a system. I have a system for organizing. So like I said, I left this blank so that, you know, people can write in it, wishing you well or, or whatever. Okay, go ahead and put that together. So the card comes together nice and fast. You could make several of these if you were so inclined. of green today. No, 
not usually my color. But you know what I got to thinking is, here, here's the card. I got to thinking that I feel like with Stampin' Up, you can't, well, I mean, you can have favorite colors and you can have colors, you know, that you don't really like because I have them. But the funny thing is, is for the right time of the year, so the right season, the right stamp set, the right DSP, and maybe even the right mood, you'll find a use for those colors. It's it's the weirdest thing. The colors I really don't even like, I use quite often. Um, the seafoam green, it, it's pretty, but it's not a real Vicky color, but I've used it a couple of different times. I really enjoy it. So I think when you're searching for your colors and you're trying to figure out what to buy, don't be afraid to you know, look at a different color or something that you might not normally use. Think about your stamp sets and, I don't know, the people that you're giving it to and just even just to try something different. It's just a, a neat way to look at it, I thought. So, yes, the avocados card. And you know I was going to sing it again. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed like that. Okay. I did a little working ahead. Oh, boy. message from somebody anyway okay so this card oh this is a fun fold so you can do a simple stamping fun fold so check this out you open it like that and like that isn't that great wishing you a perfect day this is actually i think a challenge for colleen's group um, to do a card in this fun fold fashion that's fun to say. So that was my submission for that. So what you do is you take soft sea foam and it's eight and a half by three and a quarter and it's scored at three. So we're gonna go ahead. Did I do that right? Maybe it's four and a quarter guys. You know, I have not been writing down measurements, and I really need to do that again. I was writing down measurements for the longest time, and I got lazy. So I need to start doing that again so I can reference it. And did you guys like when I put at the end of the videos, I had, a you know, just a printed out piece of paper, printer paper that had um, the stamp set on all the supplies used, and then it had... Um, I don't know if it really had directions, but it had all the supplies. I guess maybe directions or measurements. That's what it had, supplies and measurements. Um, oops, I need that back. But if you thought, thought that was helpful, I'm happy to do it again. Really why I haven't been is because I've been creating on the fly. Um, yeah, then <laughs> realizing I work much better under pressure, I think. I freak out the whole time leading up to it, but I seem to work much better. Okay, so this card, let me back up. I told you the measurements. We're gonna use garden green, soft sea foam, and soft suede. Okay, so for the avocados, we're gonna do garden green. And you know what? Um, oh, I know what I did. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back there to protect it, because I'm gonna stamp over it. I like to stamp over like that. Um, okay, so, get started. These <laughs> avocados really are cute. Okay. And I kind of like them because, I mean, they stack really well. Okay. I don't need that anymore. And you know that I have old scrapbook paper that looks like this. And it might even be stamping up paper, actually, maybe. But I have some somewhere. I do, I do. All right, I guess I do need that back. Okay, so what I did do for the pits and the avocados, I used the soft suede and 
I stamped it off once. So I just thought it's a little dark. Um, I'm gonna put my head in the way. Okay, see how I didn't stamp it off that time? I'm gonna stamp it off. There we go. Stamping and talking is a little hard for me. There we go. Okay. See, I almost did it again. Okay. Um, I think it's just softer with it stamped off, but it also looks kind of, it looks fine with it just stamped full strength. It looks good. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'll use that again. So actually let me put that here. Okay, so we'll take that out for now. We're gonna add the other piece of it. So this one is also eight and a half and it's scored at um, four and a quarter. And this is all, no, no. So, so this one is four and a quarter. This one is three and a quarter. Okay, trying to get that straight. So this is gonna open up this way. What we're gonna, going to do is, I have to run a piece of the Big Shot. So I just went down by a quarter of an inch. So this is three by four. It's three by four. And I have to change my plates. I'm gonna run it to the Big Shot with the, and now I have the old basket weave um, embossing folder. So what I do have to do, because I have the old one, is actually wet the cardstock. That I just lost. Didn't this happen last week with something? Hold on, guys. Goodness me, goodness me. Well, it's okay. I can cut another piece. Not a problem. Just need to grab it. Hold on. Okay, so it is going to be, what did I say, three, by four. Okay. So I'm gonna layer the same color on here. Okay, I'm gonna spray it off to the side. But I just sprayed some water on it so that the fibers don't break. So I'm gonna use this embossing folder is really thick. So I'm gonna go ahead, do that. I probably didn't need that much water. I probably got away with less. Okay. I did use some dimensionals on this card. Okay. All right, so this one I attached with dimensionals. Oopsie. So my pre-order, catalog pre-order, my goodness me. That thing took forever to ship. So it's actually coming on, it's either Monday or Tuesday. I had two things shipped from Stampin' Up and I don't know what the other thing was, so I'm not sure which one was the actual order. So it should be here Monday or Tuesday. And I will do my best, whichever day it comes in, to do an unboxing with that because I am so excited, cannot wait. All right, 
So you can see it's a cute little basket weave. Just reminds me of going to the farmer's market. I'll put this over here. Go ahead and set that aside. And we're gonna make, I took the liberty of cutting out one avocado ahead of time. And so we're gonna just do the other one now. We're gonna use garden green again. Well, that was loud. And make sure these are photopolymers, so make sure you have something soft underneath your stamp to give it a little bit of give, something a little bit foamy. Um, it can be one of our stamp and pierce mats. It can be fun foam from um, the craft store, whichever, it, it doesn't matter, but just make sure you have something so that you get a, a complete image. All right, back to, you know, <laughs> I forgot to stamp it off again. Um, that's all right. So what we're gonna do actually while I'm thinking of it is we're gonna stamp the inside since I have everything out. We'll go ahead and do one more avocado. And I just put it, oh gosh, wait. Okay. I have to cut a piece. Three, five, four, okay, perfect. Close call. There we go. And Did you see that? The darker colors, it doesn't matter so much, so. All right. And I think that's gonna bother me, so I'm gonna restamp the, this one's fine. I am gonna restamp this one, though. There we go. And stamp off, like I said, much better. That'll match the other one better. Okay. So I'm gonna have to fussy cut two weeks in a row. My goodness me. What's going on? But the holiday catalog has so many mu bundles. 20, what did I say? 24, I think. Lots and lots of bundles. There we go. Okay. And boom. The nice thing is that they're pretty simple to cut out. And they still look nice when you're done. Or at least when I'm done with it. All right. And I think the last thing that we have to stamp would be... We have two things left. You can go ahead and stamp a perfect day on the inside. Um, I think I did it in garden green. Okay, I love that font, it's, it's a sweet font. I'm just gonna not put that there because I won't find it. Okay, so in this set, we're gonna use a soft sea foam. There's a banner and I have to fussy cut that out too. It's not the end of the world, it's just a little guy. Cute little banner. So I stamped that in soft sea foam. And, oh, well, I need the words. That's right. So I thought I would use the soft suede for the words and that worked out well. I like the, the contrast on that. And that fits right, right in there. Boom, perfect. Obviously it was meant to do that. You know, I wonder if there's a something somewhere that, like in the catalog, that would cut this out. I could be wrong. I haven't been buying the banners so much lately. Um, no reason, just find other, other things to buy. Like snowmen. Well, I guess I didn't get the penguins yet. I was gonna say, and penguins. 
Can you tell I'm excited for the Christmas catalog, the holiday catalog? Oh my gosh, there's these cute little monsters for Halloween. Yep. I think I'll be using those. Okay, almost done here. Really, I mean, it's simple to cut out, so not a big time investment or anything like that. Very good for first time stampers. Or, or new stampers, not necessarily first time. Okay, so I think we have all the parts and pieces. You know what I didn't do was, uh, that's what happens when you go out of order. It's okay though, I'm gonna fix it. I need to put my ribbon on. I'm using the same ribbon from the Magnolia Lane um, ribbon. No, I'm not gonna do that. the ribbon pack. And cut up a little bit. There. And there. The world will never know. Okay. And I did the same exact little, not really a trick, but the same exact bow tying technique, I guess, um, that, um, let's, let's leave that, oh, it's a little long, isn't it? Let me trim it down a little bit. There, okay. This ribbon actually comes apart kind of easily. I bet you could do some fun things with that. I haven't figured out what those fun things are yet, but you could. All right, I'm gonna add the avocados using glue dots just because it's the ribbon and they hold the best with ribbon unless I suppose you're using true glue. Um, all right, there's one. And here's two. Um, you can just lay them however you decide you want to lay them. And I, you know what, because of the texture on the basket weave, I also used glue dots for that too. Okay, we're gonna put this inside. If It's so weird not to open it up and put the inside on the right side. I actually have to stop and think about what I'm doing. Go. Okay. Wishing you a perfect day. And this is also versatile too. You can just use it to wish somebody a happy day. You could use it as a birthday card. Um, gosh, there's so many different options. Um, I suppose. I don't know what else, but you could do a lot of different things with it. Okay. I haven't done any kind of special measuring exactly with where to put this, but it seemed to work out earlier. I just kind of centered it best I could. There, there we go. Wishing you a perfect day. And that is it. That is our simple stamping for tonight. I need to start playing with some red vegetables and get some color in my stamping, don't I? I used a lot of green tonight. And there's lots of fun greens to choose from, so that was that was fun. Um, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Let me show you again, just to kind of recap what we did tonight. We did the fun avocados. Good luck, good health, and happiness with some peas, some sweet peas. I just keep saying that. I don't even know if they're sweet peas, but they're sweet to me. So thank you very much, and I hope to see you here again next week. Have a great night. Bye.